here's the tree that we suspect uh, our nest is coming from. And Steve, our, our termite model, is going to uh, drill this nest and just confirm if there is a problem, and we're pretty sure there is. So, we, we, we may need to edit now, that bit. Now what we're going to do now is uh, put a twig down that hole and just see if there's any termites in it. So, uh, we, we bang a little bit of a stick in, leave it for a minute, and then we'll pull it out and see if there's termites on it to confirm if there's a problem. Righto Steve, off you go. A minute later. There we are, we've got termites on them. It's not. A little while ago we found there was a flight hole in this tree as well. We've opened it up, drilled it, and there were termites and the ailates and the flies coming out of that. And also there was an old dead uh, bit of timber part of that tree. And of course you can actually see one of the flying termites coming out of there now. There were hundreds flew out before. So we've got the nest and uh, problem solved. Where is it? Now here's a queen termite. We've just broken up a nest. It's um, not a big one. We found it under some landscaping logs and sleepers. So just sort of showing that it's not good to have those things around. camera works not too good. There it is. And then shortly after you bust up in a nest you'll often find the ants will be tearing into the termites and cutting them away. Well, it's not too often that you see a termite pack like this. This is Coptotermy species track up a stump, but every now and then, of course, you will. And this is one of those situations. You'd look at this home on steel stumps and capped stumps as a quite a low risk situation, but I guess if you don't check, have those regular inspections, this sort of thing has happened, and the real estate agent and tenants have found quite massive damage upstairs, all for the lack of um, some preventative maintenance. If we uh, have a bit of a break there, you can see the, you know, lots of termites coming in there. And actually there's some of the alates, the reproductives. It's uh, currently November, middle of November, and that's the time when termites are very active and they're flying. And those are the alates, and they're probably being released inside the house. We'll see later if we've got um, some of the wings. But that's their duty is to... Uh, fly out and go forth and multiply and here they are see them with the large wings see the termites here scampering away looking for shelter so it's pretty simple to treat these we need to trench around all of the stumps uh, get chemical around them to keep them out and that should do the trick Here's the last few termites tearing up the post and running away into some shelter. When um, we talk about sh shelter tubes, this is what the termites shelter behind. They'd actually built up beside the stump and in the shelter tubes. That keeps the air from them. And of course, when we break it out, they're scampering for shelter very quickly. But that's their protection from drying out. This is a situation where termites have come up one of the timber posts and actually they've come through the centre of the timber post. Built quite a large pack end of the flooring and you can see the termite mud tube, termite shelter tube running along beside the joist.
and here they're starting to build in between another floor joist to two floor joists. This situation termites have come up in the middle of this timber post. Secretly managed to find their way around and built a pack under the veranda beside one of the floor joists. And there they're building their track running along the floor joist getting into the house proper. See this home is actually on steel stumps. But it, if there's a will there's a way and that's how they've managed to find their way up in the middle of a post and into the floor.